Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we'll be looking at Warhawk, the smallest hero with the biggest rocket launcher. Warhawk uses precision strikes to control huge areas of the battlefield. Once his opponents are cornered, he can unleash the full might of his rocket launcher to vanquish the villains and turn them to ash. Warhawk's perk is Mark II Annabelle. After using an ability, Warhawk's next basic attack is empowered, dealing bonus crystal damage and extending the range. Much of his damage comes from his perk, so make sure to basic attack an enemy in between every ability to make the best use of it. When Warhawk activates Rocket Ride, he fires a blast that deals damage in a small area around the first enemy he hits. The recoil from the ability is so great that he's also sent flying backwards at the same time. The ability can store up to three charges. Use Rocket Ride to create some distance from enemy heroes, or fire up to catapult him forwards to get in range for a final shot. On Overdrive, this ability gains significantly more damage and lower cooldown. I recommend taking this ability first and maxing it as soon as possible. Warhawk's second ability tosses a vacuum grenade to a target location. Upon reactivating the ability or after it times out, the grenade will explode, dealing damage and drawing all enemies towards the center. Throwing the grenade out early in teamfights is great for discouraging enemies from diving onto him. Both tossing the grenade and reactivating it count as two separate abilities, so try to use his perk between each cast. Warhawk's self-proclaimed greatest ability, Mightiest Barrage, selects up to three target areas before firing a missile towards each location. This deals damage on impact and incinerates the ground, dealing damage over time and slowing enemies inside. The missiles deal reduced damage after the first one hits, and the burning areas do not stack, so it's best to spread them out. In this clip, Warhawk and Yates manage to knock a low health alpha into reboot. Warhawk starts by preemptively throwing his vacuum grenade so he can detonate it as soon as she revives, but it isn't enough to stop the robot. As Alpha dives onto him, Warhawk activates Mightiest Barrage and creates a trail of fire leading backwards. Thanks to his quick thinking, he's able to create a space where he can kite back safely and prevent Alpha and Ringo from chasing. Yates is overwhelmed triggers shortly after, stunning the two enemy heroes and picking up a quick kill for their trouble. Sometimes the best ultimate is the one that doesn't hit any enemies at all. Here, a fight breaks out and the enemy heroes start to converge onto Warhawk's team. He quickly reacts by activating Mightiest Barrage, creating a wall of fire towards the back of the fight. This accomplishes two things. First, it prevents Kane, Catherine, and Ilva from retreating, but more importantly it stops the Samuel and Rhyme up here from joining their team. By the time they decide to cross, it's already too late. This bought just enough time for their allied Saw to join the fight. With his help, along with a couple well-timed rocket rides, they're able to take out the majority of the enemy team and push forward for the win. Thanks for watching the Warhawk Hero Spotlight. He'll be coming to update 4.4 with the Demolition Warhawk skin, so be sure to give him a try.